Engels introduction. Engels, that's right. A N G L E S. And to get started, we should just get a couple of definitions right. Just remembering to use capital letters here. And if we have A would be a point, B C is a line if the line carries on through the points. D E is an interval where it stops at each end. And F G is a ray where it starts from a point and goes through another point forever. Now an angle is actually the amount of turning from one ray to another. These are also called arms, and the point is called the vertex. When it comes to naming angles, we name them using the pronumeral. So A, B, C, because it's gone through A, through B to C, which right is A, B, C, or A, B, C. Or we could say from C to B to A, so angle C, B, A, or C, B, A. This can also be written as angle B, because there's just one angle here, All right, but it's better written with the three pronumerals. When it comes to measuring angles, we use a protractor, and we move the crosshair of the protractor to be on the vertex of the angle. Beautiful crosshair under the vertex, All right? and then we can measure the angle here. We can see it's 10, 20, 30. It's about 38 degrees. In the second one, we do the same thing. We move the crosshair across, okay, onto the vertex. We rotate it round so we have that at the crosshair and we have the baseline on the baseline of the protractor. And then we can see we measure here. This is greater than 90 degrees. So you go 10, 20, 30, 90, 100, 110, 120. This is about 124 degrees. Now, angles are also named by their types of angles. So here we have an acute angle that's less than 90 degrees. We have a right angle when it is exactly 90. We have an obtuse angle when it is between 90 and 180. A straight angle when it's exactly 180. Reflex angles are between 180 and 360. And a revolution is a full 360 degrees. Now, once we know angles and measuring angles, we can do all sorts of things. So we could measure angles from uh, Google Earth and, and similar. Okay, we can see that's about 40 degrees. Or we could check out angles on awesome bikes like this one, where you can see acute angles, you can see obtuse angles, and all sorts there. You can even find right angles if you look hard enough. So hopefully you've enjoyed your look at angles. It's a whole lot of fun. woo -hoo! Now, of course, you can make your own videos just like this. This one was done on an iPad using Notability and Explain Everything. And we've actually given a little tutorial on learningshare.com.au. There's a page there called Explain Everything. All right. And it has a summary, tutorials, all sorts of things, even a template for this video that you're watching. Woohoo!